Hi, I'm Elsa Gernhardt with PAC International, the world leader in noise control solutions. Our family of noise control products are the easiest, most effective, and cost-efficient way to control noise from room to room, floor to floor, and outside in. In this video, you will learn how to install the resilient sound isolation clips. Are you ready to dramatically reduce noise in your life? Let's get started. Quick note, if you are watching this video and do not already have the resilient sound isolation clips shown, go to pac-intl.com or call toll-free 866-774-2100 to speak to one of our noise control and soundproofing specialists. Major problem, annoying vibration and noise passing through your walls, ceiling, and floors. Identify the source of the noise problem you are having. How can you solve this noise problem once and for all? The best solution is using one of the Resilient Sound Isolation Clip family of product lines from PAC International. The RISIC family of product lines provide the sound of silence, suitable for do-it-yourself projects or for professional contractors. How to determine the quantity of materials needed for your project. In these diagrams, there are illustrations showing a sample area to help you determine the quantity of materials needed for your project as well as positioning of the resilient sound isolation clips. Be sure to pause the video as needed to study these diagrams further. To download or print a detailed installation guide with complete specifications and diagrams, go to pac-intl.com and click the installation instructions tab. Or you may go to the direct link. Materials needed. Resilient sound isolation clips. Drywall furring channel, also known as hat track or hat channel. Here are the drywall furring channel specifications. 7 16 or half inch metal self-drilling screws. These are used for securing overlapping drywall furring channels and fastening security straps. Approved coarse thread screws when fastening RISIC clips to wood. Approved fine thread self-drilling screws when fastening RISIC clips to metal. Note, the minimum screw penetration in the framing structure should be at least one and a half inches for wood and five eighths inches for steel. Be sure to make appropriate adjustments if installing over existing drywall or gypsum board. You may have to use longer screws in this case. The screw length used is determined by the thickness of the existing drywall or gypsum board. Very important, do not fasten the resilient sound isolation clips to framing members with nails. Use only approved screws. Tools needed. Step ladder. Safety glasses. Tape measure. Pencil cordless drill, speed square, chalk line, and a hammer. Even though you may not need a hammer, it's always good to have one on hand in case you need it. Installation instructions. Please note, the construction area you are about to see was used for illustrative purposes only to show how easy it is to install the RISIC products. With your particular installation, there may be special instances you encounter, such as windows, doors, light switches, fixtures, or other unique situations. Be sure to take these into account during your installation to correctly position and space the resilient sound isolation clips, as well as figuring the correct amount of materials you will need for your project. Using a tape measure, pencil, and chalk line, measure and lay out the position of the RISIC clips. For ceilings, locate the first row of RISIC clips within 8 inches of the wall at each end of the run. RISIC clips shall be a maximum of 48 inches on center and perpendicular to the joist or truss. Refer back to the diagrams for figuring correct positioning of the RISIC clips for your particular project. Install the RISIC clips using a drill and approved screws. Make sure each and every one of the RISIC clips are securely fastened. Be sure to take into account any unique circumstances, such as light fixtures, as shown in this particular installation. Snap in the drywall furring channel, or hat track, into the RISIC clips at right angles, perpendicular or parallel to the framing members, joists, or trusses.
Finally, you will be ready to attach drywall or gypsum board directly to the drywall furring channels using approved screws. When installing the drywall or gypsum board, remember to leave an eighth to quarter inch gap around the complete perimeter edges of the ceilings. Caulk around the entire perimeter of the drywall and gypsum board to seal all potential air leaks using a non-hardening acoustical caulk to achieve best noise control results. Use fire rated sealant where required. Very important, it's worth repeating again, use only approved screws throughout the whole installation process. Do not use nails. Problem solved. When installed properly, the resilient sound isolation clip shown will virtually eliminate all vibration and noise. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you now have a better understanding of noise control. Be sure to tune in to our noise control video series, which demonstrates additional applications to help you reduce your noise problems. Whether you are a homeowner or contractor, you can find our products at over 900 distributors nationwide and online. To learn about PAC International's complete line of noise control solutions, visit our website at pac-intl.com or call 866-774-2100. That's 866-774-2100. The RISIC product line and other PAC International products are proudly made in the USA. All of our products are green friendly and use recycled materials whenever possible. Distributors wanted. Join our growing network of over 900 distributors. Inquire about distributing cutting edge product lines from PAC International. If you have any questions regarding which RISIC product line is best suited for your project or to purchase the RISIC product line featured and installed in this video, go to pac-intl.com or call toll-free 866-774-2100 to speak to one of our noise control and soundproofing specialists.